They've pushed for this moment for years. A family pressing on to have their questions answered. We are here for a long haul in this inquiry and we'll need your support more than ever. Thank you so much for standing with us. Justice for Shekubayo. Intense pressure from them led to this, a public inquiry into the death of Sheku Bayo in police custody. Beginning today in Edinburgh, people here stood for a moment's silence before an evidence session where Sheku's sisters spoke about their love and loss. Seven years since we lost our brother, the pain is still there. It has been a long journey. But one thing was unquestionable in the love is the love that he had for his family. No doubt he was a mommy's boy. <laughs> Sheku died after being restrained by police here in Kirkcaldy in May 2015. Since then, his family have been campaigning for answers, believing they haven't been told the whole truth about what happened here. Now this inquiry is looking at the events leading up to his death and how police dealt with the aftermath how the investigation was handled and whether race was a factor, his family believe it was. And you, the inquiry, may not want to hear this, but I don't feel safe anymore in Scotland. I feel nervous and worried for my children. I fear for the safety of my nieces and nephews. Why should I have to feel this way? Scotland is a place I loved and I always gave back. These children we are born in Scotland. This is all they know. Why should we not have the privilege to enjoy Scotland like any other white person? Nine officers involved have always denied any wrongdoing. They haven't been prosecuted for any aspect of his death. Police Scotland's chief constable was at the inquiry today, the force offering its condolences to the family. Many of them in this tribute video shown today for the 31-year-old. They've called the dad of two the George Floyd of Scotland, believing this inquiry could be a turning point on talking about racism here. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.